Hello and welcome to tip number two in this 30 Photoshop tips course. We are going to be looking at smart filters, how to use smart filters, how to apply smart filters um, and why you should be using smart filters. So let's jump straight into Photoshop. We've got car 02 image. If you haven't already, do download all the resources for this course in the link below. I'm just going to double click to open the car. I'm just going to bring the car across um, just so we've got a full view. And the first thing I'm going to do is explain a little bit about smart filters and, and how they're used. So smart filters are essentially the same as normal filters, but they're just applied in a smart way. So let's think of it as when we add a smart filter, I'll go ahead, um, I'll right click on our layer and I will convert to a smart object. So smart filters have to be applied to smart objects. I'm just going to convert that to a smart object. Now what that does, that puts our actual image in a container. Now when we add the filters, the filters are applied to the container, not the actual image. This allows us to adjust the filters as and, as and when we want, um, so we can go back in and make changes. So normally when you apply a blur, for example, it's applied to the image and you can't go back and change, whereas with this, you can simply double click on the blur and you'll be able to go back in and edit. So for example, we've got our smart, um, object here and we're going to go in and filter and I'm going to add a blur and I'm just going to add a motion blur uh, rough angle quite extreme effect here just so we can see it nice and clear so very very drastic I'm going to go ahead and click OK so at this point you can see now we've got this little drop down arrow on our layer so if you click that drop down arrow you can see we've got our motion blur here so I can turn the motion blur off, I can put it back on, I can double click the motion blur which is going to bring up the motion blur dialog box. So we can go back in and edit these settings. So it's a non-destructive way to work. We can go back in and change what we've done. They should always be working non-destructively. Super, super handy. It's great to go back and make edits to your image once you've maybe completed your whole composition. If you've worked non-destructively, you can go back in and fine tune and make edits. So that's exactly what's happening here. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Um, and what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to add another smart filter. So let's go filter and let's do a sharpen and a unsharpen mask, for example. So let's put this all the way up and let's just click OK. You can see our preview in here. Um, one thing with when you're adding multiple uh, uh, smart filters, you can't always see the preview. Uh, you have to look in your actual dialog box here. So you can see the preview here. So if we zoom out, you can see roughly how it's going to look. So it's before and after. Uh, you can see it on the image there. It's just not super clear because of the blur. So let's click OK. There we go. So now we have two applied. So one benefit of this, or the biggest benefit, like I said, is non-destructive. But also we've got them grouped, we can turn them off, we can turn them both off, we can turn them both back on, we can turn the group of smart filters off, so there that's the original image, we can turn them back on, so perfect. One thing I also like is we've also got a layer mask and that's going to apply to all of the smart filters, so if I just come in and grab, a, grab the brush here, just the brush tool, just paint them with black on the layer mask, I'm just going to bring the car back into focus, so these smart filters aren't applied to these areas so there we go you can see we're just moving that out so there we go perfect so a great way to use filters is to use smart objects and then smart filters allows for a lot of customization further down the line if you're doing a big photo manipulation it's very handy indeed thank you very much for joining me in this video i shall see you in the next one